This is everything I had at Singapore's newest and most hyped hawker center, Bukit Canberra Hawker Center. You don't want to miss this video because it's probably one of the most exciting hawker center that I'm visiting today. I'm saying it's most hyped because a lot of my viewers told me to come here. I did some research and the food looked amazing. So I'm going to throw a lot of information because I want to pretend like I, I know stuff. So it opened in 17 December 2022. There's 44 stalls, 800 seats. It's three to five minute walk from the nearest MRT, Sembawang MRT. And what stands out the most is the diversity. I saw Indian Mexican stall. Middle Eastern style, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Malay. Just the variety is amazing. And each stall has at least two dishes that are priced below 3.5 Singapore dollars. Wow, besides the diversity, the design is definitely interesting too. It's like walking into a rainforest. There's so much greenery, it's beautiful. So in this video, I'm just gonna try a lot of food and let you know which stalls I recommend. and I think I know which one to try first. Wow, you guys are so kind. <laughs> no worries, it's been a hot day. Enjoy the drink. Yeah, thank you so much, thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye. My viewers are too kind. They gave me sugar cane. Ah, so refreshing. All right, so the first star I'm trying is STFU. Don't Google if you don't know what it means. That's a message to my fellow youngster viewers. So I love Mexican food, I love Indian food, that's why I Came here, it's an Indian Mexican fusion, but not sorry, not exactly. I thought it was, but they just individually sell Mexican cuisine and Indian cuisine. So I got their buffalo chicken quesadilla. It was six dollars, and wow, this is packed with ingredients chicken, cheese, hot sauce, and you can see it's cooked to perfection. Look at the cheese oozing out. And they also provide some uh, chili sauce, but I think I will try as is in the beginning. Cheers. The skin is actually very chewy, not too crunchy. The chicken, very tender, flavorful, and the cheese, not overly done. I actually quite like it. Next time, I'm gonna dip it in the chili tomato -y sauce. That's salsa. It has a kick. It definitely makes your quesadilla much more tastier, flavorful. The salsa is nice, but it's not freshly made. It tastes like the salsa you can get at the supermarket, but it's still delicious. I quite like it. And like I said, the dough is not too crunchy, but you can chase it with their chips, which is just beautifully crispy and delicious. Just the portion might not be enough for big men like me, but the flavor, the, the cheesiness, it's a decent Mexican style. I like it. <sighs> Guys, I think I have food coma already. Let me take a nap before continuing the food hunt. If you guys recall, I got this Van Voris mattress from Luxury Mattress Gallery ever since I moved into my new house. And I'm still constantly amazed by how comfy this mattress is. It's like literally sleeping on a cloud. It's just so soft and firm at the same time. And whenever I lie down, it feels like it fits exactly to my body shape. So I get the support I need and it just feels so great sleeping on this mattress. My wife loves it too. How would you describe this mattress in one word? It's a cloud. As you know, I've been talking about sleep a lot recently and I'm pretty serious about getting my 8-hour quality sleep. And if you're thinking the same, if you want better sleep, I will start from getting a good mattress. And of course, good mattress, they are not cheap, but they are worth every penny. And I'm being honest, this mattress is the best mattress we ever slept on. Uh, it's better than any hotel mattresses we have experienced. So if you're about to move into a new apartment or you simply want a good mattress that costs half Half of the retail prices, I recommend you to check out LMG. You can even test them out at their Ubi and Lower Delta showrooms. It's honestly one of the best purchases we made. And Alvin, who is one of their staff, is very kind, very friendly, super knowledgeable, and does not hard sell. So I have everything you need to know in the description box below. And thank you so much, LMG, for sponsoring this segment. And let's go back to more eating after my nap. is also very interesting. Middle Eastern cuisine. All right, this is so cool. Uh, it's my first time trying Middle Eastern food from a hawker center. So I got the kebab rice set. There's chicken, 
and beef, which was a nine cents for dollars, and I added hummus for two dollars. Recently, my wifey and I are into hummus. We actually make them at our home. だからちょっと辛口かもしれない。楽しみですね。I think I'll just mix everything and eat it in one bite. 乾杯。Just the burst of all the different types of spices, crispy and juicy chicken, fresh greens. The pink sauce is a bit on the sweet side, and I think they also put some yogurt as a nice sour vinegary flavor. Mmm. すごい本格的な Middle Eastern 料理という感じで、これが本格で食べれるのは個人的にはすごく嬉しいですね。I just had a bite of cardamom. Amazing flavor. I've been already eating for a few minutes, but I still have. So much meat on my plate. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, let me try their hummus. I think it's not the creamiest type. Wow, it's so different from from the ones we make at our home. It's very creamy. The cumin is not too strong. Yeah, definitely、uh, a lot of garlic. Let me eat it together with my kebab and rice. This is a great spot if you want to eat something something that's unique, not the typical, you know, the hawker food. And I like how there are a lot of fresh veggies. I will definitely come back again. But now I want to get some traditional Singaporean food. All right, Pang Kong Island nasi lemak. This is so interesting. I've never seen a nasi lemak like this. First of all, blue rice, probably made from blue pea flour, and looks like curry almost. I think that chili got some peanuts, egg, acha, and of course the fish. It looks kind of deep fried with like curry. And she also had a chicken, but she told me that will take some time, so I decided to get the fish, which is also her signature. And I also got the it looks like the fresh acha. She said it's not too spicy. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so I, I think、uh, yeah, I'll put some fish.、Uh, look at that! Oh, so beautiful, so big too. Well, I can tell it's very tender. Okay, I'll put this over here. Put some of the gravy, and the way you normally eat nasi lemak is just mix everything. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, my first time eating pangko nasi lemak. That's very complex. I, I think I need another bite. A lot of things going on. First of all, not too spicy. I love all the different types of crunches. The acha's crunch, the fish's crunch, the fresh red onions, and the peanuts texture, hundred percent. Now the flavor. It's also very complex.、Uh, yeah, it's definitely Nonya style nasi lemak. I think it is it my first time trying Nonya style, or I don't know. I'm just probably making it up. Maybe there's no no such thing as Nonya style, but. It almost tastes like a Nonya style nasi lemak with all the different types of spices. The usage of blue pea flour. Let me just try the fish itself.、Mm. Yeah. Oh, very tender. It's like almost melt in the mouth. <laughs> It's pretty tender. I love the sweetness too. This fish is great. Oh, I forgot to try the ikan bili. She told me she uses a special type of ikan bili from Pangkor. Okay, so that's the ikan bili all the way from Pangkor Island. Let me see if I can tell the difference between the normal ones. Cheers. Nope, I cannot. I'm so sorry, but I can't really taste the difference. Maybe it's like more complex. I feel like a bit bitter compared to the normal ones. Nevertheless, very unique nasi lemak. Okay, let me try their fresh acha as well. Oh, hmm. Proud of this. Yeah, like she said, not too spicy at all. Pickled in vinegar, so the cucumbers, the red onions, very crunchy. I feel like this is a must because the nasi lemak itself is pretty heavy, and I want something to cut out the heaviness, which is this. Overall, very interesting nasi lemak. Um, I, I'm sure it's not for everyone. Just like any Nonya food, it's very、um, unique, very special. I think it's like the usage of the fermented prawn. For some foreigners, including Japanese, it's just too too unique, too different. But if you like Nonya food, this is pretty good. But if you're coming here, make sure you're not wearing white because. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love the fish. 
She's so kind. She gave me this. Uh, this is also her signature. It's a uh, Nyonya chicken. It looks amazing. So I can tell it's piping hot, deep fried zen. I think she poured over her uh, special curry sauce. And she just told me it's her recipe from her family. Yeah, it's very special and unique. Look at that. I got the Thai and the drumstick. Wow. Whew. Whoa, that's very hot. Whoa. <laughs> that is so tender. It snapped. And I want to be careful I don't damage my sh white shirt. <laughs> it's so dangerous. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this in my white shirt. Look at how fresh and delicious looking this is. Oh, the smell of the turmeric. You guys want Very unique. First bite, the sweetness just hits you. It's pretty sweet. When I travel to Malaysia, I notice a lot of food there are sweet. I think the locals like it sweet. So here, also sweet. But then when I when I keep on biting, the turmeric starts hitting you. Quite um, a lot, I think. And I love how it's just so hot. Can I use my hands? You guys Chicken's extremely fresh. I love that. I'm more of a meat guy, so I think I enjoy this more, but the fish is remarkably tender and sweet. What a good find. Thank you, my viewer, for recommending this stall. All right, let's move on to the next stall. I just met a viewer, and she wants me to write an inspirational quote with my sign. Are you sure you're choosing the right person? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> inspiration, uh. <laughs> Okay, I try, I try, I try. Okay, thank you. Just like any word, lah. Uh, yeah. And my sign. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I gift this to your brother. Oh. All the best. It basically means like a jia yong in Japanese. Oh. I mean, I thought I should say take it easy, but I think no. I think he should try his best, right? So jia yong in Japanese. Benli gamba. Next up, Agong Teochew noodles. I'm not sure if I ever had Teochew noodles, but this stall is very popular. Um, they have like around like three or four outlets in Singapore, and it's relatively new. So maybe my OD uh, viewers never heard of it before, but it was set up during COVID. And it looks very nice. Look at all the different kinds of plump fish ball, fish cakes, and a lot of minced pork. I love that. Let me just give a good mix of everything, and wow. What a beauty. Wow. It tastes similar to meat pork. Maybe it's the same Teochew noodles and meat. But I love the sauce. It's just so flavorful. Uh, it, got, it got sourness, sweetness, just a lot of flavors. And oh, one of my favorite things in this whole world crispy lard. <laughs> that melted so good. But what I usually like to do is to throw in all the chili padi. There we go. Whew. I love chili padi. Yeah, I actually never tried their fish cakes. Mm, very plump and fresh tasting. I haven't had meat pork for a very long time, but this remind, reminded me how much I love the pork. Absolutely delicious. No regrets ordering this. Why are you so kind? Uh, for you to try our uh, uh, pound, the muffin here. Oh, it's over there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I was actually looking for the muffin. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and finally for my dessert. Muffins. So I was actually looking for this muffin stall for a very long time. I couldn't find it because I gotta be honest, it's kind of confusing the structure. But then I just saw my viewer and he just handed me these. Thank you so much. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of muffin these are, but the muffin stall is very popular. Great reviews on Google. I think I'll try this uh, chocolate and I think that's banana there. Looks very soft. Wow, this muffin is delicious. First of all, super, super soft, moist, not dry at all. And I love the aroma and sweetness from the banana. There's also melted chocolate inside. And best of all, not too sweet. This is delicious. Next up, uh, again, uh, this is a gift, so I'm not sure what the flavor is, but kind of looks like blueberry at the top. 
I need my kopi now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like blueberry cream. Again, very soft. I love the crispy bits at the top. And again, not too sweet at all. I think this is a great muffin stall. It's actually my first time trying muffins at a hawker center, but amazing. I'm gonna buy some home later for my wifey because this is just so good. And another thing interesting about this hawker center, um, they implemented this nice, interesting technology. So basically you can uh, order through an app and by using this, people no longer have to chope. Choping is one of uh, Singapore's important culture. By the way, you can download it from the QR code on all the tables. By using the app, you can actually order online and pay online and you will be notified when your food is ready. So you can just grab a table, sit here, just scan the QR code and just order. And when it's ready, you just pick it up. It's quite interesting and you don't have to queue. So that's pretty nice, right? What a fun day today at the Buki Canberra Hawker Center. Uh, definitely check it out if you're around the area. I love the diversity of all the different types of stalls here. And just the design, it's really like walking into a rainforest. I love it, it's so clean, it's so new. And um, I think uh, they are planning to build like community centers, uh, a sports hub. So this area will become more uh, more fun. I would love to come visit again when the area is fully open. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Jipu Lan Chao Bye bye.